Good evening. My name is Luca Miro, and I'm the Associated Student Body President. I would like to welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to welcome you to the 2021 Bret Hart High School graduation. Please silence your cell phones and remove your hats. Please stand to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the ramparts we watch were so gallantly. Streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Good evening. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Bret Hart class of 2021. My name is Ariana Maddox and I am the senior class president. Please remain in your designated seating area and out of the aisles during the ceremony. Please follow all social distancing and mask requirements. Help us make this ceremony a dignified and memorable event for the class of 2021. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Owens and I'm the Bret Hart Class of 2021 Salutatorian. In preparation for this speech, I did a lot of research. I watched other speeches, I read some op-eds, and I looked at a few polls. And from all of this, I discovered something truly shocking. Polling by Common Sense Media had reported that more than 80% of high schoolers didn't like virtual school. And I've gotta say, I don't get it. Now I can understand why you not, might not believe me when I say that. So let me walk you through why this was a great year for us high schoolers. First of all, dressing to impress now only applies to the shoulder line and above. 
Strangely enough, some students even struggled to meet that requirement. <laughs> Second, assignments. In previous years, assignments were a mystery. Would they be due before class, during class, or after class? With virtual school, that's no longer an issue. You can work right up until 11.58 p.m., and only then might you have a problem. Third, your home is your school. Virtual school unites your two favorite things as a teenager, your family and schoolwork. I think we can all relate to the desire to hear our siblings storm through the room, the sounds of our pets crying bloody murder, or the sound of constant chainsaws outside of our houses, all while sitting in the middle of a math test. Before virtual school, this would have never been possible. Fourth, have you ever wanted to see your classmates' faces distorted into a Lovecraftian eldritch horror? Of course you have. And luckily for you, Google Meet comes with that exact functionality. Every day, you can see your friends' faces morph into an unrecognizable pile of pixels. Want to turn it off? Comcast has a simple solution for you. Pay more. <laughs> and finally, fifth, have your parents criticized your personal development in recent years? Get a job. Go out and socialize more. Eat better. Exercise more. The solution to these problems is simple. Blame it on COVID. In fact, most of your life's problems can be blamed on COVID with a sufficiently convoluted explanation. Forgot to turn it on an assignment? <laughs> Blame it on the change of venue. Having problems with your girlfriend? Blame it on you not being cut out for long distance relationships. Watching too much anime? That's fine. What else were you gonna do, go outside? <laughs> but even with all these perks, I can feel that many in the audience are still skeptical of the benefits of virtual school. And it's true that this situation has created a new set of challenges for us students. We've dealt with problems such as breathlessly trying to explain why we left our mics on and then cussed in the middle of class. <laughs> problems when some internet prankster suggested that people can see that you pinned them on Google Meet and you know that you pinned your crush five times that day already. And problems when you realized your mic had been muted and you had been talking into the void for the last minute and a half. All jokes aside, this year certainly had its unique challenges. But tonight is a testament to the hard work of all the students here, as well as those support who supported them. It is thanks to the work of our office staff, our teachers, our maintenance staff, the administration, and most importantly, our parents, that we are here today. And so I'd like to ask my classmates to give a round of applause to everyone who had made, helped you make it through this year, and more generally, high school. Very good. I'd also like to personally thank a few people. Thank you, Ms. Truman, for coaching Akadek all these years and leading us to state twice. Thank you, Mr. Randall, for giving me way too many math books, more than I could ever read. Thank you, Mr. Dugan, for giving me an outlet to mess around with computers at Bret Hart. And thank you to all of my family for supporting me through school all these years. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We have a great performance coming up tonight. Go Bret Hart.
hello. Take a seat back in your clamshell If the ocean's not enough nor am I Rolling in I feel a dark swell Crawling up the skin of my spine If I'd known you sold on maybe I'd let you waste another guy Well, all righty, Aphrodite Go with that red further Your milky skin in the tide. Rolling, I feel a dark swell crawling up the skin of my spine. If I'd known you sold on, maybe I'd let you waste another guy. Alrighty, Aphrodite Go with that red further Hi, class of 2021. We are finally here. We made it. But I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you have never heard my name before this. 
So, allow me to introduce myself. I am McKenna Grotto. I was the person... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was the person in the back of your class, an unassuming introvert, but it may seem like I was always tired, and it probably was. And I am your valedictorian. I would like to thank everyone who has helped me personally. I could not have made it through school without my friends and your enduring friendship through all the years. To my teachers, who offer so much support and dedication, who without them, I know that I would not be here today. Thank you to my sister Meredith for putting up with my endless antics, for helping me whenever I needed it, and every time that I had to re-explain to a family member just what I planned to study, for being there to call me a nerd. Most importantly, I thank my parents. You've been supporting me endlessly from the beginning. To know who my mom is, just look around for the person that has probably been crying since before this even started. There she is. Thank you for supporting me in every decision I have made for myself. Supporting me whenever I decided to take on yet another club, another sport, or an even harder class. And I especially thank you for helping me figure out what to do when it was all suddenly, if only temporarily, taken away. When everything I had planned out, everything I was working for, everything I looked forward to was gone. I was deprived of my final Bret Hart volleyball season with the expectation of working hard for victories and creating memories. I missed the regular routine of attending classes as they were scheduled with my peers and to be challenged to acquire more knowledge. Just over a year ago, the entire world stopped. All of our plans were canceled, destroyed, and changed. Whether it was our plans for the next week, the next couple months, or the years ahead, everything was suddenly unknown. We didn't know when this would end. We didn't know how far out our future would be affected and we barely knew what was going on in those beginning months. We lost time, events, trips, sports seasons, and for some of us, we lost more, friends and family. We were frozen in time because everything around us had come to a screeching halt. It may have taken a little bit, but we soon realized that we could not sit idly by while the unknown consumed us. We had to keep moving forward. We had to rearrange our plans, rethink possibilities, and reassess our journey. We were thrown face first into uncertainties, but we each took our time and adjusted to the new possibilities of our future. We have all adapted to the changes we were presented with, or else we wouldn't be here today. Personally, I was dazed. I had to reconsider everything. Should I take a gap year before college? Should I go to Columbia first? I even considered the military for a hot second. But the one thing I did not want to change was my interest in studying science. So I reevaluated my goals, which now include attending Colorado College in Colorado Springs to study molecular biology and genetics to eventually contribute to the better understanding of genetic mutations. <laughs> We all know there are no absolutes and guarantees to our future, but the one life skill we have learned is to be able to adapt and continue to move forward. There are endless directions to go, and tonight is the beginning to our reevaluated personal journeys. Whether those journeys are furthering your education, joining straight into the workforce, or joining our armed forces, we are beginning our individual paths to success, our own dreams, and our own futures. Good luck to my classmates, the class of 2021, and I thank you. Good evening. Before I get started, um, there's a couple things that I would like to talk about. First of all, I would like to thank our board, our school board, for being here tonight and for giving me the privilege to work with you 
um, over the last three years. Thank you very much for all you do. In addition, I would like to recognize Mr. Scott Nanick, our county superintendent, for joining us tonight. Thank you for coming, Scott. Um, finally, and um, foremost, thank you to the students. Thank you to the graduates of 2021 for being so patient and working with me as an administrator and principal for the past three years during these difficult times. And also, if you would take a second to turn around and look at all of the ladies and men wearing the purple staff shirts, our teaching staff at Bret Hart, it has been a lifetime privilege to work as their principal the last three years. They have always been there for our students. They were the first ones that wanted to come back on campus and see our students in person, and I will miss that experience. Um, as some of you are well aware, um, this will be my last year as an administrator at Bret Hart High School. My wife is retiring. I have two grandkids that I'm looking forward to spending a lot of time with, and um, I'll be taking a position in independent study, so I'll still see all of your faces. So thank you to community members um, for what you do, too. The person taking the helm next year of principal is also joining us tonight, and I'd like to take a second to introduce him, Mr. Jacob Holt in the back. He will be taking Bret Hart in a great direction. We're excited to have him. Okay, graduates, good evening and welcome to the Bret Hart High School graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Parents, congratulations. I encourage you to savor this moment. Your child has reached a significant milestone as they venture into adulthood. It's now been more than a year since COVID-19 first became part of our lives. High school students across the United States have been forced to adapt to quarantine, hybrid or distance learning, and saw their junior and senior years of high school widely transformed. At the forefront of this pandemic stands the students gathered here tonight, your Bret Hart class of 2021. These individuals are preparing to walk into a world that has seen traditional pathways to the workforce change drastically. Each of them will likely be part of an increasingly digital workforce as it becomes part of the new norm. Students, each of you may be feeling a bit overwhelmed as you look toward the future. I can assure you that you're up to the challenge. The adversity that you have faced and overcome has made each of you stronger. You have learned flexibility as well as the skills to adapt rapidly to change. You are more prepared to use digital communication formats than any other graduating class in our school's history. And most importantly, you have been reminded of the value of human connection. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused untold devastation across the world. Yet it's also revealed some truths about education. It's taught us that teachers, students, and families are incredibly resilient. It's taught us that technology is a wonderful tool, but it will never replace the value of people working face-to-face -to -face together in the same room. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you the Bret Hart High School Class of 2021. Thank you. Ariana Bailey Maddox. <laughs> Brianne Sylvia Witt. <laughs> Katie Saul. <laughs> Maria Duran. 
Sid Lolly Farfan. Anna Sun Brandon Vong Perot. Matthew Graham. Tyler Cabral. Logan Scott. Aiden Williams. Soren Jensvold. David Kearns. Jesus Cruz. Shane Tet. Brooks Ryan Davey. Alexandra Rose Jarman. Sierra Hayes Blodgett. Haley Nicole Meadow. Elora Argreet Shaw. Destiny Esbahel. Yakaleen Rivera Santander. Michelle Santos. Shayna Roselle Wakefield. Thinzar Shea. Edith Alvarez Gomez. Lars Alexander Bashi. Caden Ding. Caden Herzog. Juan Manuel Alvarado de la Cruz. Edwin Robles Ramos. Jacob Williams. Tristan Arbulich. Gabriel Ray McGregor. Brody Kovacs. Christopher Long. Madison Gaynor. Molly Ashton Bauer. Isabel Barboza. Madison Gonzalez. Emily Rose Duquette. Morgan Paige Simmons. Faith Robinson Romero. Leslie Jane Kwashnik. Shayla Marie Payton. Bianca Rose Rail.
Nicholas Yadon. Oscar Schaff. Blake William Berry. Adam Patrick Qualls. Jackson James Kite. Dominic Fine. Matthew Christopher Mealing. Matthew Lorette. Lance Irish Judson. Lucas Randall Cardinelli. Alana Hernandez. Virginia Long Collins. Caitlin Kirkman. Aubrey Close. Karen Amadova. Caitlin Melissa Casey. Ariana Sophia Kirkendall. Crystal Irene Silliman. Raven A. Pittman. Annie Elizabeth Trent. Maximus Odin Hernandez. William Klotz. Taben Manfred Randall. Michael Dean Owens. Aiden Canham. Luis Vidales. Jacob Anthony Peters. Riley Doyle. <laughs> Taylor Pullen. Bradley Borby. Morgan McDiarmid. Madison Borby. Maya Biaggi. Lucy Dodds. Olivia Jean Parker. Emily Christine Anderson. Natalie Ann Flores. Kayla Nicole Casey.
Allison Edwards. Samantha Sinclair. Ryan Moore. Christopher Roy Younger. Grant William Smiley. Cole Blazon Owens. Luca Miro. Caden Palmer. Ethan Tyre. Jesse Peterson. Isidore Walter Works. Riley Eastwood. Emily Yarborough. Liberty Garcia. <laughs> Melissa Dempsey. Jaden Alina Arias. McKenna Suzanne Grotto. Emma Marie Lane. Haley Marie Callahan. Tiana Lane. Kaylin Nicole Saylor. Grace Howard. Anthony Robles. Austin Terrap. Jackson Oliver. Carl Okulski. Kieran Rimple. Chase Lynn Hunt. Benjamin Michael Albright. Jake Smith. Haley Rose Gunter. Jeffrey Rear Reigns. How about one more big round of applause for our graduates? <laughs> I 
on behalf of the, our governing board. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Shannon's going to have a fit. On behalf of our governing board, I would like to congr congratulate all of you on this completion of this milestone in your life. Four short years ago, you began your journey as freshmen, ready for a new adventure, but not sure of what to expect. And what an adventure it has been. Who would have imagined as a freshman that we would have experienced an abrupt change on how we define going to school? But you made it and learned a valuable lesson about overcoming adversity and persevering during difficult times. This lesson has helped you to understand that the impossible is possible, and every goal that you have is within your reach. So reach for the stars, class of 2021. You will be missed, and while this ceremony celebrates the completion of your high school career, your story is just beginning. You have touched our lives and will always be remembered. Dale Carnegie said, and I quote, the person who goes furthest is generally the one who is willing to do and dare. This is a challenge that lies before you this evening. Dare to be all that you can be. Dare to chase your chosen career. Dare to excel. Dare to go the extra mile. Dare to show compassion. Dare to make your mark on this world. Dare to be empathetic, dare to be the best you can be, and then do it. Once again, congratulations and good luck. <clears throat> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the students standing before us have met all of the requirements as established by the Bret Hart Union High School District Governing Board and the State of California. It is with great honor that I am pleased to present to you the Bret Hart class, graduating class of 2021. Graduates, you may turn your, turn your tassel to the left. You may turn your tassel. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please remain seated until our graduates have left. I'll dismiss you by section, okay? Please remain seated. And then as we dismiss you, we'll ask you to go ahead and exit campus and the graduates will meet you in the parking lot. Like me. 